got y'all right here on the four hourly. As y'all can see, we didn't make the move up to the 100 EMA because we are struggling to get above this 50 EMA. So basically, it's doing the same move, but it's probably gonna just recover half of this candlestick instead of the whole candlestick like I said was a possibility. But you see the way I had these up here for the three hits to the high, right? So let me take off this. This is how I know it's gonna come down the whole zone lower because it just did the, the one hit right here. As y'all can see, this is the first hit and this is the second hit. So we're about to attempt to rate through the 50 EMA this time around. So the next time we come up here around like 22,000, we're trying to break the 50 EMA. And this is when I believe we should at least get to half of this candlestick. Now, I'll just say like 22,300, you know, to keep it simple half of that candlestick and then reversal and put this back on and y'all see this is the, the first option that i gave because it also the ema is on, on a longer time frame show that this is another ema it's gonna bounce off of so anyways like i say we're sitting right here right now at 21,596 so like i say looking at, at a move possibly like i say up to 22,300 i mean we get a nice little spike up but then we could get that spike down. Like I said, once we hit these levels, it gets serious. Because either we're going to have to hit that 100 in May, and that's like at 22, 750. We would have to hit that and then come down and bounce off the 50 in order to continue our move up. But like I said, overall markets, I mean, we're still in the overall downtrend anyways. But for, for the time being, we're just recovering at least half this candlestick, as I showed y'all before in my previous video. And like I said before, we had to get the bounce up here. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Off the 100 EMA, that'd be a complete reversal. So, I mean, it would be kind of a crazy move for reversal of the markets. But right now, I mean, we're still waiting for a nice move before it do reverse completely, you know. Like I'm showing y'all the shorter term time period because y'all see the recovery of these candles. And now you see right here, you see the 20 EMA. Let me take the drawings off. The 20 EMA right here, right? That is around the tap up there will be around 22,300. And this is why I say that's a possibility that we could reverse from here also. Uh, we may not even come up to, re to recover the whole candlestick. And that is still a possibility. That candle still happening because, as you can see on a daily, the 50 MA is up there. So we could literally still recover this candlestick at any point in time. But we can also get a reversal right here to 20 MA. If this happens, it just it's gonna be a guarantee. I mean, we free falling like I said to our next zone, which is actually ten thousand dollars. But we we gonna get a little stop at nineteen thousand. You know that they'll be y'all 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 Q. Nineteen thousand be right here as you can see. This is the lowest last support as you can see right here, and we already tapped it three times. So the next time we're coming down, we're coming down in force. So actually, I'm pretty sure before we get nineteen thousand, it'll be right here at 20,000 I said like 2,500 that's where we want to see the beginning of that candlestick because you see you see this last support right here like I showed y'all before it's one time it's just two times once we read the reversal it'll be the third time and it's going to be shooting down it's going to be bad like I said this is going to be the the most notable drop and change of the markets that we've seen in a long time and like I said before the rest of the markets is going down with it. So, I mean, I'll just be ready, you feel me? But like I said, for the time being, we're gonna get a little reversal up. As y'all can see in the weekly, starting all green right now. And we could come up here once again, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe we're getting past here. As you can see right here, you see the doji right there. That's super, super resistance. And also, you know, right between this line right here too, that is super resistance. So there's no way we could even go over 23.5. So, you know what I'm saying? It's possible we recover half the candlestick on a weekly, but like I said, like this could happen in a day. It could happen in a few hours at any point in time, and then they could reverse it. That's why you, you got to watch for because that's what's going to end up happening, to be honest with y'all. But anyway, let me turn the drawings back on. As y'all can see, it's still going as planned. Y'all see it came up at this 20 in May, and like I said, a possible reversal. I mean, yeah, the, um, recover half that candlestick like I just showed y'all, but... As you can see, I got everything planned out. I mean, the same chart I've been used for the longest. And then it's playing out like it should. Hit that 20 and now we're coming down because this is the weekly chart. And we got no more support. 
and you can see our next support level is really you know I have 14,000 right here and go to the left see I can see why all right I can see it right here that's why I have it in between here it'll just be a, a slowdown as you can see this little wick right here this it points out 14,000 is you know some support and it's clear as day you feel me but it'll just slow down a little bit right there before make another steep drop to the next level but all in all, I mean, we're going to 10,000. And once we hit 10,000, we get to bounce up but back to 14,000. Then the, the last drop, or, or we could just continue dropping. This this is the issue right here. When we get to 10,000, there is no telling because at the end of the day, we're recovering all these candlesticks, and that's all the way down at $5,500. So, I mean, we we going down, down, down. But this is going to be the first real drop. And like I just said, I mean, it... It's, once it's around ten thousand dollars, man, I would definitely. I don't know. I mean, y'all make your own decisions. I mean, when we get there, you y'all see what I'm talking about. Y'all will see, and you just you'll take a second guess because basically, you see this right here on a weekly. Look at that right there. That's what's gonna happen right here. It's gonna recover everything just like it did right here. Like, look at the wick. You see it. You look to the left. Boom. I mean, it's clear as day. It's a recovery of all the candlesticks from when it started in 2019. They came back down, you know what I'm saying? Year and a half later, recover everything. So imagine it started from right there, 2020 now, 2022. As the, you know what I'm saying? There's two, that's a whole extra year compared to that. And y'all see how the markets change. This is a large head and shoulders. And it has to come down 10,000. And then, like I said, there's no more real support. It's going to be. One of them quick drops, like I showed y'all. You see this wick? That's what's going to happen here. The whole wick is going to be from $10,000 to 5500 And like I, you see the way I got this right here charted? This is why I have it charted like that. Like once it hit 5500 it's going to be a flash crash. It's going to wipe off everybody orders you could possibly think of. Wipe everything out. And then it's going to shoot right back up. All the way up to twenty. 2000 well, basically where we at right now basically that's what's gonna happen once it hit 5500 it's gonna be a flash crash and come right back where we at but anyways y'all could do the math on that so you know when they get down there you know what time it is if y'all watching my content because y'all made this far in the video like i said you know what time it is you know i got y'all man everybody gonna be eating sitting pretty because there ain't no way you can't capitalize on any of this because i know the load of everything and I could tell you, you feel me? But anyways, anything I just said, it's not financial advice at all. Y'all growing, y'all make your own decisions, but like, comment, or subscribe. Peace.